Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Amir's Chapel today is April 7th, Tuesday in Holy Week. We're going to be doing together in the book, Common Prayer, a Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals. And we're going to be in the section on Holy Week this morning. We're going to be on Tuesday in Holy Week. So make sure that if you are following along in your book or you have the app, or you are using a website that you um, make sure that you're on the right day. Um, as always, I encourage you to, to find a way to follow what I'm doing and to do all the bold print things. Worship is meant to be done alone. It's not. It's meant to be done to, with more than one person. And um, so even if we're all participating on our own in our house, we're still worshiping together as the body of Christ. So I encourage you to follow along, to speak these words out loud, um, and to enjoy some, enjoy that prayer time, and this, and this praise time today. Again, you can go to www.commonprayer.net to follow along, just later on Tuesday of Holy Week, or you can use um, the app that is in the Android App Store or the Apple App Store. It's just called Common Prayer, and the symbol for it is that cross symbol there. So that's how you know you will have found the right one, um, because Common Prayer is a pretty fun thing. So just make sure you find the right one. Because we're in Holy Week, we're taking it from Exodus, and so today we're going to be in Isaiah chapter 39 and Mark chapter 11, following with Jesus in Holy Week toward the cross, Mark 11. Um, so go ahead and mark your Bibles and find those. First. And um, we'll go ahead and start off our morning together in praise. O oh Lord, my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down on the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. And our song is Lamb of God, um, which in Latin is Amus Dei. So if you've ever seen um, a piece of music called Amus Dei, or you've been to a church that uses a very high liturgy in there, a section in the service that's called the Anus Day that means Lamb of God. And um, it stands in the part that says, Lamb of God, take away the sins from them and bring us peace. And it's a part in the liturgy that's normally close to communion as a confession and words of assurance. Um, but today we're saying, because I know it better, we're going to sing Twilight Paris's Lamb of God, which our choir will be um, whenever we come back together, celebrate Resurrection Sunday together. So I've included a link to the lyrics over there in the comments. If you'll click that link, we will sing together the first verse, chorus, and then um, verse three in the chorus, verse three in the chorus. And it is early in the day, so I'm going to put it nice and low. Your only son knows side, but you have sent him from side to walk upon this guilty side and to become the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God, sweet Lamb. God, I love Holy Lamb of God. Oh, wash me in His precious blood. By Jesus Christ, Lamb of God. Verse 3. I was so lost, I should have died. But you have brought me to your side to be led by 
by your staff and rod. Be called the Lamb of God. Oh, God, sweet Lamb of God, I love. Precious blood, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Save us, Lord, but not us alone. Redeem your whole creation. It's going to be our refrain every time we read a scripture, so I'm going to have us say it again. Save us, Lord but not us alone. Redeem your whole creation. And then from Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a to keep me safe. You are my crag and stronghold. Do not cast me off and break me not when my strength fails. My enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him, seize him, because there is none who will save. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Save us, Lord, but not us. Redeem your whole creation. Now I turn to Isaiah chapter 49, and we're going to read verses 1 through 6 of Isaiah 49. Isaiah chapter 49, verses 1 through 6. Listen to me, O most lands. Pay attention, you people from far away. The Lord called me before I was born, while in my mother's womb he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he hit a polished arrow in his quiver. He gave away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said to him, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing in vanity. Surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward is with my God. And now the Lord says, Who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him? I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become strength, he says. It is too light a thing that you should be a servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Save us, Lord, but not us alone. Redeem the whole creation. And then from Mark chapter 11, chapter 11, verses 15 through 19. This is a very familiar story about Jesus driving moneylenders in the temple. And they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers, the seats of those who sold doves, and he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priests and scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill him. They were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was bound by his teaching. And when evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. Save us, O Lord, not us alone. Redeem your whole creation. 14th century anchorite Julian of Norwich wrote, I often wondered why. Though the great prescient wisdom of God, the beginning of sin was not prevented. 
It seemed to me that would have been well. And, and I saw it on this account unreasonably. Expression. But Jesus answered me with these words and said, Sin is necessary. All will be well. And all will be well. Every kind of thing will be well. Here are prayers for others. If you're watching and you have a prayer request um, that you would like remembered during your time, go ahead and put it in the comments or send me a, a personal message. And I'll be sure to remember that. If you're watching the replay, then um, do the same thing and I'll see it for tomorrow's prayer. We are going to pray the Lord very slowly together. Uh, so I'll, we'll just go through each line and add some space and some time for us to add our own prayers into it. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. We bring you praise. Your kingdom, God, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. God, we know the kingdom you bring is not always what we think it should be. And so help us to see you working and moving and to recognize who you are. Hey, good morning, Blake. Give us this day our daily bread. Be our strong provider. We pray for people and ourselves for vision. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And give us a spirit of forgiveness, of compassion. Convict our heart, help us to find those deep places that need to see the light. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Savior of the world, save us from our sin, our success, and our self-deception. Courage to live in a world we cannot fix with hope that it has already been redeemed. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. And we'll end this morning the way we end this morning with the benediction. Um, I think you have done this benediction enough times that you can do it from memory. But if you haven't, um, do follow along and say it out loud. It gives me such joy to say these to all of you every day. May the peace of the Lord Christ be with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. May it bring you again rejoicing once again into your doors. Um, one day when we are able to reopen over public and gather together, we're sure it's going to be a great day. Until then, keep reaching out all the ways that you can stay connected with the Apple family online. And um, this tomorrow, there's going to be published worship service for, specifically for Holy Week. Um, it is a dramatic service. It's actually pretty where six people who were close to this in his story um, do a monologue in their perspective of um, Christ's crucifixion and resurrection. It's it's a beautiful service. I hope you'll enjoy it. It'll be live around 12 o'clock. Um, Pastor Brenda is going to be 
giving you Holy Week devotions for the rest of the Holy Week. So um, I will not be doing one in the mornings this week. You'll catch Pastor Brenda a devotional prayer time for Holy Week, so be sure to catch that. Um, and then don't miss Kim's Chat Kids, Allison's Riddle of the Day, all the things that Brian is doing with the youth. I will see you all Easter Monday, and of course, in worship. Go in peace.